Hey, YouTube, welcome back to West of Loathing, episode 5 here. Last time we got our, sung, our, our, our tongue silver-plated and it freaked me out. Uh, this week, who knows what's in store. Let's go hit the map and find out. We got the humming cave. Let's go there. Alrighty. Uh, nothing about it. Guess we just do it. Huh, these rocks are weirdly organized. Why is this glinting over here? Weird purple grass. <laughs> How would I know? Why is it glinting? What does it mean? Let's head into the cave. Are things in here weirdly organized? Doesn't look to be. A snake isn't going to let you pass without a struggle. Well, a struggle it is. Whoa, these jerks are quick. It's a lightning snake. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. It's probably immune to poison. So we're just going to shoot it. Oh boy, it did a lot of damage, huh? Uh, maybe it'll get distracted by the Gary. It did not get distracted. We need some medicine. We need... Some more medicine? Sucks to use up two medicine, but I think we need it. I, maybe I have a lot of EXP I haven't turned in in a while. I don't know. Gary 2 whiffed. What's Gary got? Gary's got some Gary Foo. I'm getting lightning real hard again. I think we can kill this thing right now. Yeah, we can kill it. Alright, we got snake liver. We got electric snake skin. Put it on your hat to add plus seven spell damage. Hey, what's this thing? You have to push this over. It requires ten muscle. Oh, that would have blocked the snake, I bet. Well, what's in our inventory? Let's uh let's check our stats. Unspent. Oh, we only have four that we didn't spend. I would like to probably level up Moxie some more, just so we do more gun damage. And then this is also our bleh, this is also our uh, magic defense. So I want to put one level into that, just because I felt we were really soft to the lightning magic there. What the heck is this? What's that thing? Whoa! What in the world? This looks dangerous. The monolith is dark. Looks like there was a cave in at some point. Weird device. Take it. You got a strange stone arrow. Okay. Can I leave? Yeah, we can. We got the strange uh, stone arrow. Can't use it. And we're gone again. Let's go. Dynamite Dance. Dynamite Dance, Dynamite uh, Discount, Dynamite Depot. The weird stone arrow goes crazy. You follow its lead and find a weird house. You discovered the professor's house. Check out the house. The beeping machine leads you to a ramshackle house in the middle of the desert. Huh. Well, may as well. Uh, excuse me, my name's Jim West. What? Oh, I didn't notice you come in. I'm not used to visitors, but uh, folks generally call me the professor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this... You like that voice? How's that? <laughs> well, I found this bleeping gizmo, and I sort of followed the bleeping, and it led me here. Well, I'll be. It certainly led you to the right place, young man. This is El Vibrato Technology, and I happen to be as much an expert as anyone alive today. El what now? El Vibrato. Oh, God, I didn't think there'd be so much reading. Uh, they were an ancient race that lived here long before humans... Well, they mostly lived underground, so they might still be living as far as I know. 
I never, uh, never seen a peep of an actual person, though. Just the machines they left behind. Were they space aliens? Yeah, it could be aliens to uh, genius pre-humans or an entirely different terrestrial evolutionary line. Uh, this stage of the investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a closer look at your... Oh, uh, here. Let me use the right voice and also uh, have a look at your bleeping gizmo. Give him the device. Ah, uh, as I suspected, this is one of their transponders. It detects other Elva Brother technology and homes in, you see. That's why I led you here. I got a thing I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then plugs a strange stone marble. Stra plugs a strange stone marble into a socket on it. Ah, there you go. Good as new. Just swipe her up and down and turn it on and off. You got an item, uh, El Vibrato Transponder. Swipe? Now, I got to warn you. This device will lead you to abandon El Vibrato technology, but it might also attract unwanted attention. From what? From the El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, you arrived here at a perfect time. In order to get anywhere with further research, search, I gotta pick a different voice. This hurts too much. Uh, I need more samples of El Vibrato tech, but searching for it eats up all the time I could be using to research it. Uh, I get you. Right? You're the adventurous type, so you go out and bring me back whatever devices you find, and if I can get them up and running, that'll benefit both of us. You got yourself a deal, old man. Great! For why do I talk so much? Uh, first priority will be to get the Keystone Fabricator running. They lock their doors... And, uh, things with these little stone alloy blocks, see? So if we can make our own, that'll open a lot of doors for us. Literally and figuratively. Alright, what do we need? Well, the components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes, anyway. Alright, bring me uh, about five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need from that much. Roger that. Oh, boy. No, 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 don't. We're not talking to you right now. This dress shirt contains 10 instances of the exact same shirt and 20 identical socks. I hear you. Check yourself in the mirror. You gain 5 EXP. Flush the toilet. Alright. So, I mean, I guess we'll use the things. It's not like we have much else to do right now. Examine it. Do you want to shut it down? No, I want to leave it on. Uh, back to the map. Oh yeah, we were on our way to Dynamite Dance. Let's go. You spot the crumbling remains of an old dairy ranch on the horizon. You discovered a new map location, Butterfield Ranch. Go there now? No, continue on. Dynamite Dance. We really need to check out Dynamite Dance. We keep procrastinating on it. Whoa, it's all blown up around here, huh? A year's supply of dynamite. I wonder how much that is. Considering you can get them for 30 each. Damage is an enemy in combat and sometimes useful outside of combat. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. Just plenty of dynamite. I don't know how much meat I have. Oh, it's down here. That's... That's probably plenty of dynamite. Now where to? Butterfield Ranch, I guess. Off the trail's shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. Translate them. Can't do that. Ignore them. Oh god, it's a cow. You're gonna have to deal with this cow if you want to explore the area. Let's go. How good is this dynamite? We'll deal 20 damage? Oh, god. We're gonna need it, apparently. Uh... Let's poison it. And then... Poison it some more. And hope it doesn't just straight up kill us. Okay, good. We're good. Apply some more poison. And then... 
Gary chop it. Yeah! Uh, Gary Fu! Shoot it. It's dead. Boy, and that was a calf, apparently. You banish that demonic cow from this realm. Get thee hence, little doggy. <laughs> uh, you got tainted beefsteak. And extra thick leather. Haystack, let's get a needle. Yeah, I got a needle. Oh, it's all burned down. You notice some words carved into the side. Curly was here. Wait a second. You recognize that name. Curly. Curly Butterfield. The legend of Curly's meat. Looks like maybe this outhouse is worth investigating. Luckily, you don't have to actually go inside the outhouse, because once you open the door, you find a map scratched onto the inside of it. It appears to lead to Coleridge Mine, just west of where you are right now. There's an inset map of the mine itself, with a big X scrawled between three strange triangular icons. Nothing to churn. To your horror, you see that every single cow in the Butterfield Dairy herd is now an Ungolith, an infernal cow spirit bound in stone. They're not dangerous unless you get near them. Uh, let's check out the barn first. Oh, it's locked. Requires lock picking. Let's fight one. It's probably immune to poison. Let's find out. I guess it's not. Oh, jeez. It does have an attack, though. But we'll shoot it. Hey, finally, something Gary can hit. Er, little Gary. Big Gary can hit it too, I suppose. Get a menudo geode. Sometimes a pocket of intestine remains behind when a cow undergoes the transition into an infernal ungolith, and you get one of these, a stone sphere of boiling tripe. Okay, increase your moxie by six, that's pretty good. Fight another one. Seems like shooting him is just the way to go. And Gary chopping him. Yeah, boy. Yeah, go ahead. Let's keep going. Oh, there's two of them this time. Oh, shit. Alright. Dynamite. Dynamite. That one's weaker, it seems like. Alright, like that one took more damage. We'll shoot it. Yeah, and then we'll Gary chop it. And then we'll shoot that one. And then we'll Gary chop that one. Got a brass bull ring. Got an infernal soul fragment. A wispy, tattered little bit of infernal cow spirit just hanging out on this side of the pail going, boo, boo. Cow's eye. Huh. Let's do another. Dynamite. Uh, let's just shoot it. And Gary chop it. I feel like I'm using too many items on these things. Well, like, unnecessarily. There we go. Let's go again. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can see their HP down here before I even start on it. So 20. Whoop. 20. Alright, let's stop using the dynamite. I'll shoot this one. And I'll Gary chop that one. Shoot this one. Gary chop it. Shoot that one. Oh, snap. 
I might die here. How much HP do I have? Okay, I live. Can I get any more, uh, stuff out of my briefcase? I cannot. I guess I need to capture snakes, maybe? I don't, I don't know how that works. So, I've got 170 XP. We can level up Moxie once. Uh... Dead eye is pretty good. Yes, let's do a level on dead eye. Uh, where's our HP? That's AP. That's HP. Let's do a level on HP. And then. Uh, we'll do another level on Moxie, just to shoot a little harder. Let's go. Wow, that was really unpleasant sounding. I'm gonna use the poison. And then this one... I'll use two dynamite. I don't even care, I'm going all out. Shoot that one. Gary chop it. Immune to poison? The others were not. Shit. Shoot that one. Oh no, Gary chopped the wrong one. Well, we're taking extra damage now. That's right, shoot that one. Gary chopped that one. We made it out of there. Barely, but we did. Oh god, there's still more. We are getting a lot of EXP for this though. Hmm. Let's eat one of these. This stuff is made out of cow stomach, demonic cow stomach, so not only would you be eating that, you'd also be kind of eating whatever the cow ate. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, we'll drink this too. So I feel like this next fight is going to be tough. What do we got here? We got a crowbar. Replace it with a fancy knife, a varmint skin and knife, or a cavalry saber. Uh, the fancy knife is objectively better. Sadly, the six gun, six gun is the best thing I got right now. The hat. Uh, plus one armor. Plus two armor. That raises Moxie, and it's also silver plated. What's the compass do? Souvenir spoon. Yeah, sure. Oh, I didn't have anything in that spot. Well, that's three more Moxie. All right, let's keep going. There's still an effectively infinite number of Ungolas here. Oh, maybe this just scales up forever. Oh, Jesus. Four of them, huh? Well, is there one that I can straight up kill? I can straight up kill one of them. Whew. 
probably. Let's do this one first. I'm gonna have to use quite a bit of medicine. Yeah, I think I can't do any more of these because I'm, I'm using up all my items here. Alright, kill that one with dynamite. have some silver bullets. Fuck it, I'll use one of them. I'll shoot that one. No, wrong one! Damn it! I, I didn't click on the t right target, I guess. Oh well. No, that was, that was too much. We can't handle that anymore. Alright, we're out of here. Let's hit up Dynamite Dan's again, though. I will... Where do I got this worth a lot of money? Cow's Eye. It doesn't do anything, does it? How can I see how many I have? Well, I got a lot of Brass Bull Rings. Basically, I can trade those for Dynamite. Yeah. Good enough. Alright. Uh, well, we can wander around and try to find something to do. Destroyed campsite. Yeah, go there. Although, actually, I guess we have done quite a bit this episode. We'll check out the campsite real quick. Search the knapsack. You got potted meat. Investigate. Uh, this this human is popped. Gary did not know a human is to popping. Or no, we don't. Not in the sense I think you mean. Anyway, uh, the meat it is all very large. All of it. A human contains all this. Yeah. Uh, I could not bear. To, uh, I could not bear to be carrying all of that. So squishy. Follow the tracks. You follow the cow tracks for a hundred yards or so. After which they stop suddenly. There doesn't appear to be any anything of interest nearby. Well, darn. Well, darn. Well, hey, YouTube, uh, I guess that's going to do it for now. Uh, we'll wander around some more next time, I guess. Uh, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. So remember the name.